the good night at cruise night. VW Rich came to spend some time. Actually, the whole time. That was good. Rich, you got to come more often. So, and I know he will now that he's retired. So, definitely a good night. A lot of people. It was a beautiful night. I wish this weather would stay all year. You know, mid to upper 70s every day. And I don't know what it is tonight. But the humidity died. So, we, it's been a dreary, humid week. You're like walking in a cloud, but not no more. Humidity's gone. So, I don't know. I don't know if I missed the window of opportunity to paint my car without dealing with the humidity. So, we're prepping to paint one side of the car at this point. But we're not going to the other side and doing any work to it. I'm going to get this side complete and painted. And then we're going to wrap it to the other side. So, I think that's the best plan. Gotta take those coins out of the airstrip. So. That was one of the strangest things about this car. This car, I consider myself saving this car. I saved this car from being chopped. This car was bought in the state sale when the lady passed away that owned it. And uh, I bought it from that person. And uh, when I opened up the ashtray, there was a joint sitting in there. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> Don't know if it was the old ladies or the guys. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this car was destined to be cut up. This car was bought by a guy at the time. Now I got the car almost 15 years. Who was, uh, look at this. You don't see the steering wheel move, do you guys? Nice hard stop, drum brakes. But uh, I bought this from a guy who raced a 10 and a half inch tire class with a 73 Nova in an 800 cubic inch car, 800 cubic, cubic inch engine on it. And uh, he bought this car to actually cut it up and put a small block Chevy in it. And he would come to me every single week at a cruise night knowing I was an AMC guy. And I cruise up there with the AMX. And he would ask me, where do I get this? Where do I get that? Where do I get this? I got this car, blah, 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 blah. And go on and on and on, week after week after week. And then one day he came up to me in so many words. Actually, it was a little different than that. One day I'm sitting there, it was me with the AMX and my buddy Rob with his 57 Chevy. And he rolls into the parking lot with this car on the back of the trailer with a for sale sign on it. And he comes right up to me with it wanted to know if I was interested. And I said, well, it looks like a good car, but it's dark out. He, and I go, I'm not really looking for a car right now, but let me have your number. So I took his number, thought about it, waited a couple days and called him and drove out to his house. Because at the time, well, when I spoke to him on the phone, at the time I knew how much he wanted for the car. And I drove out to his house and there it was, sitting next to the 73 Nova, which he had just pulled the motor out to adjust the valves. And to go over a couple of things and switch the converter. Pretty cool motor. It was a Donovan with the uh, distributor sticking out the front. Definitely a cool setup. And there was this car sitting in the garage next to it with the Chevy motor and all the shit to make it into whatever it was. And uh, jacked the car up for me, showed me that there was no floor rust whatsoever in the car. Took it for a ride, the car rode like it was brand new. Literally. And back then he wanted a whopping $2,500 for the car. Well worth the $2,500, but I wasn't paying $2,500. I wound up getting it for $1,700. And I remember my wife was sitting in the car, and my wife owed me a car in so many words because I sold my 66 Suburban when I bought my house, which I didn't have to do. I wasn't asked to. I just didn't want to bring anything with me. And she always felt guilty that I sold it. So I got in the car, I said, okay, I bought the car. She goes, okay, you need the 2500 I go, no. She goes, well, what do you need? I said, 1700 She goes, no way. I said, yep. Took the money, and that was it. 
And the rest is history. Now we're going on, we're approaching, I think it's 14, 15 years now with this car. I've put a whopping 5,000 miles on it. So, definitely a good car. Can't beat this car. If you want to know what it feels like brand new, this is it. Some else I'm going to videotape and show you guys. When I looked at the car and I opened up the glove box, this was in there, in this zip tie bag. And this is all the stuff from the car. Let me put the camera down a second, guys. This is where it came with the car. And this is not repop stuff, guys. Okay. Here's the owner's manual. Can you imagine it survived? Here's the 68 accessories book it came with. And no, this is not eBay crap or reproduction. I'm gonna cover the lady's name. Okay, I guess what you GM guys would call your protecto plate. It's like a credit card. This is the book you brought into your dealership when you had your service work done. And it's 4,000 mile service. Becca Rambler Riverhead. Look at the phone number. Park 7. 2,500 miles. Oh, hi, hey, Jeff. Is no. Yeah.